Warning. Before starting the installation, make sure that there is no voltage on the connection cables. Activities related to installation, connection and adjustment should be performed by a qualified electrician who has read the operating instructions and the functions of the device. ROM01 is the modular receiver of the wireless control system extra free. It can be used for remote control of any light sources or other devices such as solenoid valves, circulation pumps, ventilation system, electric heaters, bells, etc. The receiver outputs are switching relay, voltage free. With maximal load of 16 amperes, for devices supplied with 230 volts. ROM01 requires voltage supply in the range between 190 and 250 volts AC. The receiver operates with all extra free system transmitters, as well as selected radio sensors. While using the central Unity FC01 control can be carried out by any mobile device equipped with Android or iOS. Transmitters are stored in the receiver's memory, even after power loss. After switching the supply voltage on, the contacts 11 and 14 of the relay are in the open state. The range of the ROM01 receiver depends on the power of paired transmitter, normally it is limited to 300 meters, in open area. The ROM01 receiver is modular device for installation in switchboards, on the DIN rail. In the case of metal switch gears, Operating range of the receiver could be reduced. In order to increase operation range, it is possible to replace the original antenna with the external antenna ANT01, which could be placed outside the switchboard. For this purpose, build in magnet as well as 3 meter connection cable will be useful. The receiver has two LED indicators on the front panel. The green LED indicates the power supply, and the red one, the output status. The receiver housing has an IP20 protection degree, therefore additional boxes should be used, when installing in humid places or outdoors. The wires with a maximum cross section of 2.5 mm square could be connected to the terminals. Power supply wires L and N should be connected to terminals L and N of the receiver. The controlled circuit close by the potential free relay contacts. For example for usual light bulbs. The first wire should be connected to terminal 14 and the second one to end terminal of the ROM01, it is necessary to provide the phase signal to the terminal 11, hence the visible bridge between L terminal and terminal 11. Such installed receiver should be treated as a normal installation switch, with the difference that the control is carried out, for example, by using the remote control. After connecting the cables and placing the receiver on DIN rail inside the installation box, power up the device, and begin the programming procedure. Device programming is the operation of pairing single or several transmitters into the receiver of the extra free system. It can be done in four different methods, which determines the receiver operation mode. In by stable mode, one transmitter's button only is used for control. 
By pressing this button, the status of the selected output changes periodically. As result device is connected to the ROM01 switches on and off. This mode enables to independent control of more than one receiver using one transmitter only. For example, the remote control, P2568, controls of up to 8 inputs. On, off mode is the most common one. Two buttons of transmitter are used for control. Single button when pressed, switches on the device and the other one switches it off. This mode is useful while controlling devices placed out of sight, and when single transmitter, has to control more than one ROM01 receiver. In monostable mode, same as in bistable mode, just one transmitter button is used for control. The selected receiver's output operates when the button is pressed and hold it only. In time mode, same as in bistable and monostable mode, just one transmitter button is used for control. The device connected to the output of the ROM01 receiver, switches off automatically once the set time has been elapsed. The device could be switched off earlier, by repressing the transmitter button. This is the non-retriggerable system. The time is set in the receiver, in the range between 1 second and 18 hours. The time is not cleared after the power failure, as well as will not be cleared after factory reset. A single ROM01 receiver, can operate with up to 32 transmitters of the extra free system, by this one device could be controlled from several places, or by several people. Transmitters paired with ROM01, can operate in the same mode, for example, switch on, switch off, or any other like, by stable, monostable or timed mode. This solution allows the implementation of many applications, for example, a staircase switch with the function of continuous lighting switching. In such case, the P2572 remote control operates in the on, off mode. RNK02 transmitter in by stable mode. The P2574 remote control in monostable mode and P2568 remote control in timed mode. Additionally, after connecting the central unit EFC01, the ROM01 receiver could be controlled by any mobile device, equipped with Android or iOS. In order to control the receiver from mobile devices, it is necessary to install the ExtraLife application. The receiver could be paired with selected sensors as well. Then, the device can be controlled in response to the detected motion. This could be achieved by using the RCR01 motion sensor. Control depending on the temperature, or illuminance level could be achieved by using the RCL02 sensor. ROM01 receiver range is limited to 300 meters, in open area, it could be increased by RTN01 repeater when needed. In order to program the bistable mode, press the PROG button to begin the programming procedure. Once the status LED lights up, press the selected transmitter button. When the status LED blinks, release this button. In order to program the ON, OFF mode, Press the PROG button to begin the programming procedure. 
Once the status LED lights up, first press the button designated to switch on the device. When the status LED blinks, press the button designated to switch off the device. In order to program the monostable mode, press and hold the button to be paired with the receiver same as in by stable mode first. In this case, it will be the button number 1 of the remote controller. While holding this button pressed, begin the programming procedure by pressing the PROG button on the receiver. When the status LED lights up, release the button, and once the status LED blinks, press again the remote control button. Programming procedure for the time mode consists of two steps. Firstly, the selected button should be paired to the given channel in the time mode. Then, the time for that channel should be set in the receiver. In order to program the button in time mode, begin the programming procedure by pressing the PROG button. When the status LED lights up, press the button to be paired into the receiver. When the status LED blinks, press the same transmitter button again. In order to set the time, press the PROG button. And once the status LED lights up, wait about 5 seconds until the LED blinks. Then, press the PROG button. Blinking the LED at intervals of 1 second, indicates time countdown. When time designed to set elapses, press again the PROG button. Then, the time is stored in the receiver memory. In order to clear all remotes from the receiver's memory, press the PROG button for about 5 seconds until the blink of the red LED. As the result of this operation, the receiver's memory is clear now. The programmed time is not cleared. The ROM01 receiver does not allow to selective delete of transmitters.